It's making something new. It's making.
Hello, good morning, everybody. Am I audible, ma'am? Good morning, sir. Yes, sir, you are audible. I think we had started circular motion, no? I think I gave a brief introduction to... What is the last one you are discussing in circular motion? I have a problem, sir. The meeting of oh, the meeting the, and the meet, 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 meet. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Chicken. I'll call you back later, sir. I have a class. Right. See, we have defined unit. How many new unit vectors are there, man? Can you tell? Many unit vectors are there, sir. Pardon? Many unit vectors are there. Infinite. In any direction, there can be one unit vector, no? We have taken X, Y, Z, but they are infinite, no? Origin is one point. Through a point, you can draw many lines, no? That means there are many directions. So every direction has can be assigned one unit vector. So here also, we will assign because see this is the X axis, this is the Y axis. Okay, along this already SN, what are the unit vectors? I cap and J cap. Remember? Yes, sir. Now, suppose there is a particle here. We are making an angle of theta. Okay, so here we are saying a new set. One unit vector is like this, along the radially outwards. What is ER cap? Unit vector. In which direction? Radially outward direction. And another unit vector in the direction of this particle. Suppose a particle is moving in this direction. This is unit vector in the 
along tangent Understood this? Clear? Yes, sir. Nice. Yes, sir. Now I'll provide a link between these two. See, if this is theta, this is also theta now. So I can say that ER cap consists of mod ER cos theta along I. I can write like this now. Every vector can be resolved now. Unit vector is also a vector. Only thing is the magnitude is 1. Any doubt till here? Clear? Similarly, Similarly, you can see that this is theta. This is 90 minus theta. Then what is this again? Theta, no? no? This is theta, no? These two are perpendicular, no? Yes, sir. What is this angle? 90 minus theta. Again, this is tan and this is radius. This should be theta, no? Agreed, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So now you can see ET can also be written as mod et cos theta in this direction no what is that j okay prepare to that what you'll have sin theta minus i k because with what it means that is cos perpendicular to that that is sin no any doubt is that till here no sir no sir That means minus sine theta i cap till here any doubts are there. So we have defined we have two unit vectors. They are only meant for giving direction. There is no other use for that. Understood this or not? Hello? Yes, sir. Now yes. using this, using this we can see the velocity and acceleration. For example, how to get the radius vector or position vector of particle. So this is a particle P. Position vector. Of particle P. Is, see, this is the radius now. Radius is R. In which direction is that? R along ER cap. That is nothing but what is ER cap cos theta I cap plus sin theta J cap. Understood this? How do you define velocity vector man? Rate of change of position vector now. Remember this? What is velocity vector? Rate of change of displacement. Rate of change of displacement is nothing but rate of change of position vector now. No? So this is another. What are these or not? Clear? So yes. here, yes, sir. for example, again, you can see, suppose this is the initial position. This is Ri, position vector. Now the particle has come over here. This is Rf. Now this is Ri plus some displacement vector now, you will get this. A agreed on yes, that? Yes, no, Ri plus delta R is R. So what is delta R? Rf minus R. This is only displacement vector now. So rate of change of displacement is only velocity now. Remember? Yes, sir. Till here you follow or not? So that means I can change the, write this as d by dt of r cos theta i cap r sin theta j cap. As r is constant, i is constant, I can write like this. Similarly, r is constant, j is constant, I can write like this. 
This is nothing but R I cap. This is minus sine theta d theta by dt plus R J. Derivative of sine is what? Cos theta d theta by dt. This is R I minus sine theta. This is nothing but omega. This is R J cos theta. This is nothing but omega. Any any doubt is that till here, man? No doubt till here. Mm, till. A position of particle phase is R into A cap R. How so? Position is this. That means this is the magnitude of the position. What is the direction? It is along this one, na? Sir. Position vector is in which direction? Yes, sir. E cap R. Along the radial level. That was in my road. Okay. Shall I turn this? One minute. One minute. Any doubt is there? You can ask. I think by attending evening classes, you feel it will be improved, no? At least. Second time you will be listening, no? Yes, sir. But you know, evening classes, I won't teach all this mathematical so depth because those children doesn't require that much maths. Morning classes, I'll give all the analysis. Shall I turn this? One minute. Yes, sir. Hmm? One minute, sir. Sir, how did you got that uh, E cap as one, sir? Mod of E cap. Uh, what is that man unit vector? No, what is the unit vector? Magnitude is one only, no? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Mod ER should be one, no? Unit vector definition is that one, no? Understood this or not? By definition.
done sir shall i turn this good sir ha huh? it Completed. Sir. Get it done. What is that we got finally? Velocity. You got this as r omega. What is that you got? Minus sine theta a cap plus cos theta j cap. Do you agree with this? Yes, sir. What is this actually? If you observe, what is this unit vector? See, what is this unit vector? E cap t. Hmm. E t cap. So that means, therefore, magnitude of velocity is r omega directed tangentially. Agreed. in the direction of motion see so far from the beginning i was saying velocity will always be tangential to the motion nobody asked why the reason is this only okay so this is what physics every statement has a proof so velocity will be in which direction in the direction of motion agreed clear No. Yes, sir. No, because if people are innocent and all, you did not ask, sir, why it is tangential. So I could uh, postpone that. If you are really serious, first one you will catch me. Did you feel how you got this? That is what I require. You want, I want that type of student to fight with me for subject. Then only you get rank. Right. Come back to this. Well, how do you define acceleration, man? Definition. Acceleration definition is defined as remember rate of change of velocity d by d t of velocity. That means e bar is d by d t of v bar. D by d t of r omega sine theta i cap. Plus r omega cos theta j cap. I just substituted this. Nothing else. My agreed or not? Any objection? Sine theta no, plus r omega d by d t of cos theta. This is r omega. What is the derivative of sine man? Remember. Cos. Plus r omega derivative of cos is minus sine. Agreed. Yes, sir. So this is derivative. What is the derivative? This is nothing but cos theta. This is omega, no? This is r omega j. Minus sine theta into omega, so this will be minus r omega square cos theta i cap. What is this? Okay, 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 okay. Any error we have done? We have done an error because omega is not constant. Understood this? 
no omega is constant ah yes sir then why then why it didn't inform me man complex fellows so this is minus r into i cap okay so d by dt of omega sin theta plus r j cap d by dt of omega cos theta till here you followed no yes i cannot take omega outside the integral because omega is not constant this is minus i r yes. see this is uv no two functions are there no first function into derivative of second function remember second function yes, into yes, derivative of first function first function again this is r j first function into derivative of second function second function into derivative of first function so this gives you minus r i cap omega into cos theta into d theta by dt plus sin theta into d omega by dt agreed plus rj omega into minus sin theta into d theta by dt plus cos theta into d omega by dt till here any doubt is there you will make the justice shall i turn the page completed one minute one minute sir no you can you do it yourself you know uv method no all are born intelligent men we pray god because he is impartial he gave same brain but due to negligence attitude towards negligence we will leave the work assigned by god we are all sent by god to do some work sir omega is constant right sir it is the difference between the angle position vector sir populus hello omega is constant why alpha will come man tell omega is constant you have d omega by dt dt yesterday we done that also no yes alpha sir is, then where from you got alpha this one you completed yes sir top most plane yes sir then this is omega sin theta this is alpha on you know agree sir r omega square i cap cos theta ve this one na huh? yes sir
R alpha common. Minus sine theta. Do you agree till here? Yes, sir. What is this unit vector, man? Er cap. And what is this unit vector? Et cap. Et cap, no? Should I turn this? Suppose anybody doesn't know this differentiation, don't worry. The end result is least if you know, you can attempt the questions. Always knowing fully is 100% good. Being 100% healthy is ideal. But there will be some or other problem, no? Cough, cold, fever, something will come. So, everything, if you know, I'll teach everything required for the examination. In that, at least you try to capture within your purview. Problem is, I taught this, I don't know if people remember or not. Remember? The I'm not sure. no. yes, sir. Shall I turn this? One minute, sir. Done, sir. One minute, sir. Follow this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now you can see this. In a circular motion. You are having is the position vector. Okay. Uh, you have velocity like this tangent shift. Okay. And how is the acceleration if you observe carefully? One is this is ER now. What is this? ER. And what is this? E T. E T. Now, what is this then? What is this direction? Minus E R cap, no? 
minus er now we can see velocity vector is in which direction r omega et and acceleration vector you have two components what are those one is minus er we got this one you know the other is along yes sir r alpha e r to et this is how much you got et that means they are acceleration has two component one is in this direction there is an acceleration okay so i will say that one acceleration is towards the center so i will call it as ec okay plus the other is at can i call like this ac or ar or an what is this acceleration towards center okay this is called what is the other one centri pital what is the meaning of this centri means center pital means seeking means towards okay so we call it as centri pital okay this is acceleration toward along radius and what is this acceleration along normal normal means perpendicular to the radius no perpendicular to tangent all are same no all these mean the same all these three anywhere you come across they mean the same okay all this is equal to how much understood this or not hello yes sir understood yes sir understood so one acceleration is here i'll call it as centripetal okay the other why i'm taking this side because this is here we got minus here no and the other acceleration yes, is in which direction if you observe the other acceleration is along tangent understood this clearly yes, follow not on this so there are two accelerations in circular motion one is the tangential acceleration the other is the radial acceleration and this is what we call it as the tangential acceleration understood this hello yes sir sir is it a gap or a bar t which one this one acceleration no in a diagram sir in a diagram एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ अ पार्टिकल moving along a circular path has two components
first one along tangent this tangential acceleration the second one is towards center this is yeah agreed Yes, sir. 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 Yes, sir
tangential acceleration is nothing but rate of change of speed only no so that means tangential acceleration is d by dt of change in speed that is nothing but change in order of speed understood so whenever speed changes which acceleration comes there must be a tangential acceleration so whenever whenever speed of particle changes there must be what tangential acceleration understood this clear yes sir let's turn this Because speed is changing, increasing or decreasing, means there must be a force. No, force is there means there must be an acceleration. Because without force, the body cannot increase or decrease speed or change in direction of motion. That's what Newton fellow told. No. Yes, sir. ఎక్స్క్యూజ్ then sir what Sir, hmm. we are taking acceleration and velocity, na sir. Then we can say velocity also increases, na sir. We are we saying that speed is increasing. Velocity won't increase. Speed only will increase. Direction will increase. Yeah. Velocity has magnitude and direction. 
magnitude is speed the other is direction do you have anywhere uh, direction increases huh? east is increasing west is increasing is that relevant statement yes sir direction along x axis x axis won't increase no but the length on x axis may increase so here also speed means it will increase direction will remain same speed in a particular direction increases we say velocity is changing understood this yes sir come back sir see long back till you are forgetting i think suppose this is the velocity vector this is the acceleration vector we learned that this has two components one is the parallel component and the other is perpendicular no what i said a parallel will increase speed because it is the direction of velocity what does this show you will change direction only no yes sir similarly this is v bar and we are somebody is applying a force in this direction this is acceleration now you can see it has two components one is parallel component the other is perpendicular component what does parallel component do it is opposite it is not allowing to move no decrease speed and what does this do will change direction of remember this or not we discussed this yes sir so the last part is suppose this is v and this is t a vector has a comp is there any component in this direction it is zero only no so what does it do a will there is no tangential cos 90 what it will be zero no therefore speed remains unchanged because acceleration is not having component along tangent no but what does this do in direction this is what we learned understood this clear for all so any acceleration opposite to velocity it decreases speed acceleration in the direction of velocity increases speed acceleration perpendicular to velocity changes only direction of motion understood this everywhere not only here yes sir see you can observe this you have seen manual grinding eh, of uh, the tea leaf floor or something they will be grinding yes, like sir. this now what they do they hit like this do you see that they hit towards the center they will be hitting towards the center did you ever see that yes sir or even in electrical grinder also they will one plastic piece it tries to push it towards this why this is required because if that is not there this will go in this direction that means it cannot be grinded properly the moment you keep floor everything will run away it won't stay there no to stay that that means they should be staying there means always they should be four applied perpendicular to their tendency to move so that is only centripetal force no clear so what does this <laughs> see yes, this sir. force will not change speed that means i can say that ar or ac centripetal force or an what does it do 
the che changes what only direction of motion because see every body tries to go in a straight line no according to newton's law a body cannot change its direction by itself if a body cannot increase or decrease its speed by itself remember newton told that so an external force is required to change the direction of motion to increase speed or decrease speed agree or not for example <laughs> you, there is a table in your room the table cannot move by itself you have to apply a force then only it will move that means without external force a body cannot set into motion from rest agreed similarly a cycle is moving you cannot arbitrarily stop without applying a force you have to apply a braking force understood is not so here the body has a tendency to move like this but because of the application of continuously will be hitting do you ever observe or not not for one a while followed yes sir clear or not yes sir see in the projectile motion if you observe carefully there is only at one instant you are having velocity u cos theta is here this is the acceleration remember 90 degrees no that's why you can see u cos theta remains constant at highest point at highest point before that and after that before that speed increases after that speed before that speed decreases after that speed increases why here why because here this is a velocity vector this is acceleration vector now you can see angle between velocity vector and acceleration vector is obtuse this is actually yes, acute sir. no this is 90 agreed so that means here angle between velocity and acceleration is obtuse which case will come this case only no therefore what happens speed decreases while well, going speed decreases now okay and there is a change in direction while returning this is the velocity vector this is the acceleration vector what is the angle between them acute only no so that's why this case will come now first case yes sir understood all this in projectile you studied that's how you have to connect with what you studied agreed yes sir good in hard work man all of you can get iit what is that डायरेक्शन और बोल here does it have a component in this direction no so in the direction of velocity motion there is no acceleration when there is no component of acceleration along the direction of motion speed cannot change no yes sir hello hmm. yes sir yes sir so when there is no component of acceleration in the direction of motion speed remains unchanged when there is no component of acceleration 
along direction of motion. What will happen? Speed remains constant. Understood till here? Yes, sir. Is it clear now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So remember that any acceleration towards the center cannot change the velocity in the tangential direction. Agreed? Similarly, acceleration toward the center, sorry, toward the tangent cannot have changed the direction of motion. Understood this? Yes, Shall I turn this? Hello? One minute. Shall I turn this? So you can say that. Acceleration towards center cannot then. Okay. Any doubt is there? No, sir. What is the direction? What is the magnitude of this? How much you got? R alpha, no? No, omega square R, no? Great. Yes, and AT
Understood there? Hello. If eight is zero, what will happen? It will not change. A C is not zero. Then what will happen? Constant. What is this called? Okay. Yes, sir. If AC is zero, AT is not zero. What will happen? Direction will not change. Hmm. Particle move along same direction. direction. Follow this. So, yes. what is this called? This motion. E. Accelerated rectilinear motion, no? Yes, sir. Because the path will be a straight line, no? Yes, sir. Clear? Yes, sir. Shall I turn the page? One minute, sir. Shall I turn this? Yes, sir. One minute, sir. One.
you complete all this now now let us say the case that both are zero then Particle will neither move nor hmm? the other. Will not change. Why? Right? Since AT is zero now, and direction of motion will not change. Stop motion, sir. Stop motion. Sir. Therefore, particle move with same speed. Along same direction. Same direction. Hello. What is this motion called? Uniform motion. Understood this? Is it clear or not? Yes. Complete it. One. Complete it. Yes, sir. One minute, sir. Shall I turn this? I'm not sure. Hello, complete it. Sir, one doubt. Hey. Sir, in that second case, if I radial acceleration zero, sir, that is not equal to zero. Mm. Particle moves along the same direction. Sir, means that it goes in straight line. It won't follow yes. circular path. No, no, it will go straight, tangential path. Done, sir. Return this. Hello.
Yes, sir. Done, sir. Right. One second, you can go. Just one second. Around five minutes. See, the power, you throw a particle like this. You know that gravity is this side, no? So what happens? Speed increases, no? So it decreases. Do you agree with this or not? Why? Because, understood this or not? Here what happens? AT is opposite to V. Agreed? And what is zero? AC is zero. So, direction remains same. A straight line only, no? Clear? Follow this or not? Yes, now, sir. what happens? The body goes somewhere here. Velocity becomes zero. Now, this is the acceleration. Therefore, what will happen? It picks up. Slowly, this is the velocity. This is the acceleration. Okay? So, here what will happen? Speed L. Increase. Increases. Why? Because it is in same direction to V. And what is there? AC is zero. So, direction of motion remains straight line on and on. Understood this? Do you agree with this or not? Yes, sir. See, every aspect we are discussing has interconnections. All this you learned previously, no? What are this? Yes, sir. Shall I turn this? One minute. Complete it? What are this? One minute. One minute. Complete it. I will turn the page. Done, sir. Yes, sir. Finished? Yes. See here, if you see, this is the velocity vector, this is the acceleration vector. Now you can see the components are one component is like this, another component is like this. Now, this is actually the this is AT. Now you can see here what is happening AT is opposite to velocity. So, what happened? Speed decreases. 
Okay. Now AC changes what? Now here if you take at the highest point, the velocity is only this. This is only AC is there. AT is zero. Therefore, what happens? Speed AT is zero. So speed remains constant. And what does AC do? Changes direction of motion. And while coming down, velocity vector is always, we proved just now it is tangential. This is the acceleration vector. So it has two components. One is AC, the other is AT. So here, AT is along V. So what happens? Speed increases. What does AC do? AC will change. Understood this? Hello? Yes, yes sir. sir. Is it clear now completely? Yes, sir. What is AC? What is AT? All the effects of AC, effects of AT. Hmm? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right, complete this. Go to your other classes. We will meet as usual in the next class. And now you don't start any circular motion. Tomorrow you can start. I'll do some numerical, you can go ahead. Okay? Okay, sir. Yes, sir. So, projectiles are completing. Relative motion, all that. Any doubts are there in this part? Hello? No, sir. Oh, sir. Oh, sir. Right, right. Then I'll make a move then. Right, then. Take care. Bye. Abra, you can now, for everybody moves, you can leave the meeting. Okay? Take care. Bye. Okay, sir. One minute, sir. Bye. Are you sure? Total black. <laughs>